Hey folks, I am getting ready to pot this guy, my biggest gaffer kaleidoscope, into a pot. But first, I gotta do a little bit of trimming on it. It's got a lot going on. Now, I, I love its shape, I love its size. Things that I notice about it right away, this fruit right here, went down too far. Hopefully we're in focus, I should double check that. Huh? There we go. All right, this one too. Too thick, too vertical. That one as well. All right, well, that's basically all my roots. Coming up to the top of the tree, I've got bar branches literally everywhere. Um, this first branch here, this big one, long and straight, I'm going to cut it back to here. See how that serves me. I don't think I like it. My concern is I don't have any thing back here, but I am going to cut it back again. And I think this one's gotta come off. It's gonna be a bar branch. All right, just went up the trunk. I've got this one here, which turns into three here. This one comes up, turns into three there, and then two there. I don't think I want it turn into three at any point. But in any case, I've got stuff on this side, so. That's all going to come off. On this side, let's see. It doesn't turn the three until up there, but I don't think I want anything again that close to the trunk, so it's going to come off on this side as well. So, turns into three there. I can see a melee on this side. Don't like. These melees are a plague. They love all of my plants so it's been a whole adventure just getting rid of them and all that stuff that was up here didn't it? Up here. Been so much and i've been working on this I've actually been treating virtually everything with a uh, neem oil weekly of these guys. They're resilient. I think I need to do more than just neem oil. All right, getting back into it. Okay, so we've got this one coming up here. On the other side, I've got this here coming back. And I've got, and that'll add some depth. Hopefully, we'll go that way. Uh, I've got this where I've got to decide which one I want this side or this side. I think I want this side. Don't think I want this side at all, so it's gonna come right off. Whew, that was a lot. I may regret that. Hopefully not, but I may. All right. Now this side, I've got one coming off here. It splits here. That just kind of moves. Splits up here. That's nice. I like that. I'm gonna leave it. Give me the one on the inside. There's one coming out here. It might be okay. I am going to try to get off this one that's underneath. There we go. It's an old. There we go. All right. Taking off some old stuff there. I have this grown on the inside. Don't need that. Pull that off. Let's sub a little bit. Up this branch, I've got one inside here. It'll come off. That's gonna come off too. It's grown inside. I really like this one. I like how it's branching nicely up here, bifurcating. It's bifurcating, that's bifurcating. This might be okay because it might end up being you know, going above that and keeping that vertical uh, negative space, sorry. All right, I think that's pretty much trimmed up. I know I could do more to it. I don't think I should. It's already I'm, you know, taking quite a bit out of both top and bottom on this thing. But I think it was appropriate to take out what I could, top and bottom, um, on this P Afro kaleidoscope. And again, I love this trunk. It's got such a good trunk. With my little baby. These aren't concave cutters, but they're something like it. They're just pliers. 
turn up on these wooden knobs. They just get a little closer than some other tools do. So, all right. Ooh. Thank you, Pete. Sorry for the slip, everybody. I'm going to give us another rinse. All right. I think these roots are still too long, so. Give me a little more lip snip on the roots. This big one here. All right. There we go. A little bit more root. I probably didn't want to lose, but we do what we can, right? There we go. And I'm going to be quite daring with this one. Get into a very small. Just like that. Okay, where did I put my one screen? It was cut for a different container, but heck, that doesn't work nicely. This one probably needs some help standing up. Also, these roots are too long. I'll come at it again and just down. Since I don't have any green or uh, tie down holes, this will be tough. All right, I'll get started on it. A scoop of soil in there. Hope that I spilled enough, right? Hopefully. For a moment while I get more. I'm so nervous that I got my tea here. Right next to my uh my like rinse water. What if I just dump rinse water in my or, uh you know in bonsai soil in my tea? Because I keep seeing the rinse water, but then I'm also like, well, what if I drink the rinse water instead of my tea? I'm not making the best decisions here. All right. Hopefully this does what I need it to do. I end up taking like a big do something to keep this up. It does not want to stay. No, no, not bad. What about there? It's the front. Yeah, actually that's not bad. I'm worried about it falling over, so I'm gonna do a quick scan. If I got any good rocks for this, hmm. I don't think this is the right rock. It is a rock. I think if I slide it in here, it'll help to uh, support it, certainly. Yeah, now we're good. All right. So that is one that I'm incredibly proud of, even though it's not incredibly perfect. That is my. Afro Kaleidoscope, start of a mommy. Really happy with this pot, um, my lizard bowl. I guess this will be my Afro Lizard Kaleidoscope. Really pleased with it. Really, really pleased with it. Thanks for joining me, folks. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, I, I don't love this color, but I think it works really well with this kaleidoscope. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.